Peterson here, Ghost to Eleven Media. Today I'm out in Abbotsford for their Christmas lighting ceremony. Today I'm joined by Brian Jones of uh, B&B Concession. Yep. And this is Brian's 50s Burger Shack. Gourmet Burger Truck. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Right? You know, it's, it's got that 50s vibe in here. Yeah. And uh, we were having a little bit of a conversation before, guys, sort of about the different burgers and stuff that you do. Yep. This isn't your ordinary Burger Shack. Uh, Brian is doing some pretty wacky stuff. Uh, what was the, you're telling me there was a Python burger? I've done Python burgers, cricket burgers, uh, alligator, crocodile, camel. I've done a lot of different burgers over the years. So today, we're not being that as uh, adventurous on that today. No. Nope. What, what are you going to make for us today? I'm going to make what's uh, called the Van Monster. It's one of our more popular gourmet burgers that we do. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's a four ounce uh, top sirloin patty, uh, bacon, cheese, caramelized apple, maple syrup, it's good. You had me a bacon, cheese, and maple syrup. Yes, how could you go wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, guys, listen, we're going to get uh, Ed cooking here, and we'll catch you in a minute with the uh, taste review. You betcha. The apple you got going there. That's the apple right there. So I'm going to take a little bit of caramel. We put a little bit of caramel onto the apple as well. Grilling it does caramelize it as well. So we got the red onion, mayonnaise, maple syrup, caramel bacon, cheese, then we put on maple syrup. Awesome, there you go. There it is. All right, guys, so we've got the completed burger here, and I'm going in with a fork first, because as you can see, there's a lot of apples. You don't know, cheap out on the apples no, there. No, I don't. No experience. I love, you know, for me, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the rest, turkey, turkey's okay. I like ham, yep. and then I gotta have applesauce. Absolutely. So you're hitting me right there where, where I live right here. <laughs> wow. Really good. You can definitely taste like the, the syrup and the caramelization. Yeah. Wow. If you like applesauce and that kind of stuff, guys, or apple, apple pie. Yep. This is actually very apple pie like. Yep, you gotcha. When you get the rest of it, it's the, the sweet and savory together. We're going to go for that. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, man. Maple syrup comes right at you. Yeah. So good. Burger is really juicy. Yeah. They're, they're, they're a top selling patty. That uh, you know, a lot of times, guys, burgers can be kind of dry. This yeah. is not a dry burger. The sauce on it helps it, but it's an amazing flavor. Holy smokes. A little bit of both worlds there. That's the both worlds. Dessert and a burger. That's a winner. That is a winner. Guys, you got to try this out. Now, Brian, for the group, yeah. what where are you guys doing your different uh, setups? Uh, well, we are, we're all over the, the, uh, the city. All, um, this time of the year, we're doing just Christmas stuff. But to come the new year, we're jazz festival. A lot, a lot in Vancouver, we do the Abbotsford Agri Fair with this trailer. Uh, we did the, uh, the air show, the Abbotsford Air Show. Uh, and you can follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram as well. You can find out where we're going to be. Awesome. You know what? Um, we're going to put a link to uh, Brian's website. You have a website we can yep. share. Yep. Uh, and then check it out. He'll have notifications on there where he's going to be. You guys got to try this burger. This is unbelievably good. I really like that. Um, too, I like it too much. Well, <laughs> oh, you can finish it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Brian, thanks so much for your yeah, awesome you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, check him out. Media. We are still out in Abbotsford, BC today. We're out for the Christmas lighting festival that they've got going on. Pretty exciting stuff. It is. I haven't been to a Christmas lighting festival in a long time. I used to go down to Leavenworth, Washington all the time. And oh my, it's just off the chain amazing down there, yeah. right? So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this one does. So, guys, I'm joined today with Sarah Turner of BB Concessions and what do you call it? 
call it? The crepes on the go? Yeah. Crepes. Uh, and so the truck smells amazing. Like if, if you like the smell of that crepes and that sort of it's a sweet smell, too, right? It does. It does. Yeah, definitely. I can smell it on myself all day when I'm working in here. <laughs> um, and so now how long have you been doing this? Uh, well, my family has been doing this about 17 years. Yeah, uh, this is one of our many trucks, and we all get together. We all have our own careers. We come together. We do this together. Awesome. Yeah. It's great to see the family involved, right? It is. It is. My parents do it. My brother, my sister down in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, your brother was saying that they just shipped one of the other trucks you have down to her. Yes. It's going to make her do some work. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> she doesn't get a vacation. She's got the weather. She doesn't get it. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure the weather down in Arizona is pretty nice. Right? It is. It's very nice. Yes. A little, little better than we got here today. Absolutely. All right, so guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do a sample of the crepes that you guys make here. And so we're going to get some shots of uh, Sarah making up some crepes and then me doing some tasting of it here, too. It's a, it's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it. Absolutely. This ranks right up there with the beer ones as well. So, <laughs> yes, I bet. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we'll catch you in a minute. All right, here we go. I think that swirl is so cool. Yeah, it takes a little practice, but it's, you get it pretty quick. So if somebody was going to make crepe batter at home, yes. how far in advance do they have to make it before they could actually put it on the grill? Uh, we actually make it fresh. We make it pretty fresh um, at most of the events that we go to. Um, so you don't really want to freeze it. It makes the batter a little bit different consistency, I would say. Nice thing is they cook up quickly. Yeah? They do very quickly, yes. Okay, wow, those gonna... berries look amazing. Yes. Use fresh ingredients. Have to add the chocolate, of course. It's not the same without it. All right, guys, so you've seen the secret how it's cooked. It looks spectacular. I wish you guys uh, could try this right now. Wow, that is a big strawberry holy smoke. It's not like a regular frozen strawberry mush, you know? Yeah, yeah this, is, this is like dairy food. <laughs> but much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I love, you know what? The, the sweet uh, crepes are so good. Now, you were saying you also do the savory ones as well? Yes, we do chicken and salmon. Um, we have a vegetarian option. We have two vegetarian options. Wow. Yeah, often we do a lot of movies, like movie sets, and depending on the time that they have us come in, they a lot of people like our uh, savory ones. Nighttime yeah. is kind of a sweet thing. Is it? Yeah, I think it's great that you guys are doing alternatives for people who don't necessarily have the ability to eat mainstream stuff. Absolutely. Know? I'm one of those people, so right. yeah, I am. I don't eat dairy or wheat, so I understand those people. It makes it tough, right? Like you know, I mean, you go to these events, and the events are catering to the mainstream. Oh, absolutely, mostly. yeah. Um, and then you, but you want to eat something. Yeah, it's very, very rare that you can find somewhere that you can actually feel safe mm -hmm. eating at. So yeah, because there's also a risk of cross contamination. For sure. Yeah. Right? yeah. Guys, this is unreal. I'm going to put a link to their website on here for you. Um, where's your next event? Yeah. Um, good question. We probably have some movie sets coming up. Um, and we do, in a couple of weeks, we have an event at a senior citizen's home. Okay. Yeah. Um, we... Now, when you say movie sets, yeah. can you give us a hint as to anybody that you've served? Any big celebs? Lots. Many, many. Over 17 years, we've served everyone from Pierce Brosnan to... Matt Damon. Uh... Matt Damon. Do you remember, remember that? <laughs> yes. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> um, every, I mean, the whole crew of uh, Twilight. Every, I mean, we've been for so long. Very cool. Yeah. Matt Damon, what did he come to? That was many, many years ago. Really? I forget. Yeah. 
he just did um, that movie um, Ford vs. Ferrari Please. with um, Christian Bale. Like, guys, here's a go see it. Unbelievable movie. Okay. And I think that personally, uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see Christian Bale get nominated for an Academy on it. His portrayal of uh, Ken Miles was unbelievable. Uh, and Matt Damon as uh, one of the leads as well was fantastic. Guys, I'm going to go back to eating this food. This is really good. Um, and so we will uh, look to see you at the events. Absolutely. All right. Guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, hit the reminder button, and we'll catch you on the next one, Food Prep Fridays.